All right. I like this game enough to do another run. Let's let's give this another round. Let's see if I can go full cult. Maybe. Okay. Skip. I'm just gonna roll keys for now because they destroy themselves. Still haven't seen any thieves. Okay, pay rent. Got it. Uh, let's go chemical seven. Puts all eggs in this item before every spin. Gives one for every egg in this item. Up to a maximum of six for each spin or lunchbox. You may destroy this and choose to add food symbols. Or eggs are destroyed. Let's go for the eggs are destroyed. We might lose this one. We'll see. Because it's very dependent on certain items showing up. And if it doesn't, then we're in trouble. I'm going to add one miner. Maybe. Not even that's a terrible idea. Okay, let's try that again. Come on, cultist. Let's go for the mouse. Destroys adjacent cheese. That way I can just chuck cheese into the deck. And not have to worry about it. Okay. We'll see how this goes. A rent. Okay, plum hearts, five sided die. Maybe the five sided die? Happy hour or lockpick? Go for the lockpick. Ideally, it'll pay for itself. We'll see. I just need, you know, a cult man. We might have honestly missed the opportunity for this. Man, is there anything that gets rid of fruits? No. I would like to see more that does. Okay, barely made rent. <sighs> Topaz, sapphire, <sighs> sapphire. White pepper. Let's see, mouse, monkey, key. I mean, I guess I could have gone for the key. I think we're gonna lose this one. We go for an oyster and just let it get messy. It really wants me to go menagerie mode. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go for shiny pebble. They pay for themselves and eventually we can potentially get a... We can potentially get an archaeologist to deal with them. Cultist! Okay. Skip those. Reroll. We didn't actually get a die in here, did we? That was the last round. That's fine. Item capsule. Oh, I should have gotten the three sided die. We got the cultist, we just didn't get any other cultists. Skip the crab. There's the cultist. There's a cultist. Come on, more. Owl, maybe? Nah. I'm gonna just be single-minded on this one. 
Destroys adjacent bananas, coconuts, and coconuts, giving money equal to five times the value destroyed this way. Let's grab a monkey. Let's see. Let's also grab the lucky seven. Come on, cult me up. I guess I'll grab an owl. I think we lose this one. It's fine. Three sided die. Oh, right, that was the last round. Yeah, we lose. It's fine. I guess let's let's start trying to keep track of things that can get eaten. So cheese. We know a mouse eats cheese, so stacking up on cheese early is not a bad move. I'll grab a magpie. There's the cultist. Grab another cheese. Hey, rent. Cheese, copper, chick, orange. Go checkered flag. So that makes the magpie considerably easier to work with. And there's our mouse. Get a second magpie. Okay. We don't want the crow. I don't think we want any of these. Alright, we might be able to pull this off. Let's just keep stacking cheese. Cheese, magpies, and Robin Hoods if we can find them. Okay. Destroys itself, gives money. Yeah. Andy and babies give more. Three if they're at least or three or more of the same symbol are adjacent, not more, they give more money. Rusty Gear would be nice, but let's go Blue Pepper for now, just because we're gonna need it. Okay, light bulb, dog, no. There's Robin Hood. That's super helpful. There's another cheese. Okay. We've got some funding. I... Are these rare? No, they're cult... Uh, cultists are common, so we don't actually want that. Let's go pool ball. Okay, we don't want another mouse. I don't have a key. We don't need more mice. Yeah, I know that the ninja has a potential synergy. Okay, do we go for the monkey? Yeah. I'll have one monkey and one mouse just to feed them garbage, but mainly we want to stack up as many cultists as we humanly can. Oh, two mice can eat the sh same cheese. Good to know. Oh, let's go for the hustling capsule. Go for the white pepper. Triple coins would be interesting, but we'd have to go Midas to pull that one off. Okay. Cheese or Banabra? Oh, adds a banana people when destroyed. 
So in retrospect, monkeys are probably not that viable. Okay, so base econ is decent. Snail, five every three spins. Like, it's okay. If we could get multiple of those, that might be worth it. But I think I still want to try and roll cultists if I can. Oh, beehive. 5% chance of adding bees and honey. Though I feel like that could choke your deck full of bees pretty quick. All right, let's just do coconut. Now let's go horseshoe. Hey, thank you, Blades of Ice, for the 29-month resub. Hey, hey, a month more. Yeah, thank you. How was that dumb werewolf game? Is it actually good? I'm assuming not. Mom, where are my where are my cult boys? We're gonna lose here. So we don't have a sufficient cultists or cheese. It was very bad. Yeah, I thought so. There's a new Werewolf the Apocalypse game that came out today. I think it was today, it was recent. Nope. Bad. But I, I dropped by to see if it was any good, and the answer was, it didn't look good at all. So do I want to roll a bear? Maybe if I can find honey. Sure. Yeah, the problem is, now that I know you can choke your deck pretty easily with the wrong kind of econ in this game, I'm very leery of... doing too much. Uh, let's see, coconut? Pizza the cat. Let's go just cats. Watch me not get any cats. It could happen. We might also want to look into a flower, seed, fruit type build at some point. I we are we are going to lose due to a dearth of cats and honey. Well, is what it is. I'll grab Owl. Do I go for a bear? Sure. Go lockbox. See if we can hunt some keys. Alternatively, just start collecting cats. Okay, we don't have a monkey. Checkered flag would be nice, but let's go lucky cat. Okay, there's another cat. Skip these. Unfortunately, I think we need the cat econ item to really make this work. Okay, we've paid our rent, so that's a good one. Skip this. Fishbowl. Fishbowl is huge. Because this way I can start collecting fish. For just passive income. Yeah, in retrospect, going for Hexes of Tedium for cultists could be kind of cool.
I'm not going to do it on this one. But next round, we'll give it a shot. Dang it, where are my cats at? I guess I have too many cats, and it's probably going to get rare. They're going to get rarer. Cats and goldfish. Okay. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna get toasted on this one. But that's okay. Hundred and fifty, do in one turn. Yeah, no. Did not pull it off. It is okay. All right, yeah, let's let's see if we can go full tedium here. Let's see. Let grab the cheese. Because I can potentially get a rat to finish it off. Okay, skip those. Ninjas and mice give five times more money when adjacent to each other. Interesting. I'm gonna try it. We don't have a single mouse. And we might not get one. But it's at least some kind of econ. And watch me go not non-stop cultist here. Alternatively, I just lose. Boy. It is kind of brutal. Well. I <sighs> We have one other option. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ultra dumb. Let's see if this if I can pull this off. Okay, ninja thief. Really wish there was a greater variety of starting symbols. Yeah, it would be nice if I, if it had like a Slay the Spire thing where depending on how far you get, you get a, like a starting boost, maybe. Go Purple Pepper. Wanted poster would be really interesting, but I don't want to work towards it. might lose here. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, damn it. Okay. There would be like two times more items in meta progression unlocks. Yeah, I figured as much. Grab a beer. Anything that can and will destroy itself is what I'm looking for. Okay, let's roll Pizza the Cat. Just in case I can get some more, more cats. Do I want the magpie? 
Or do I want the monkey? Eggs are always interesting. Yeah. Let's skip those. Just gotta see a dwarf go by. Okay, pay up. Get a bronze arrow, always. And Maxwell the bear. Cheese, coin. I don't know. A lot of this is just trash. Oof. Oh, it hurts. Bear. Unfortunately, Bear does not drink wine. But that's okay. We don't need the miner. I actually remember who destroys urns here. I don't remember if it's a character. There's the dwarf. Alright. Chug up, my boy. There we go. Safe? Yes. I'm gonna go for the lockpicks. Just so my safes have the ability to just open themselves up constantly. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna try the Matryoshka doll. I've never seen how it works, but it sounds like it might be interesting. Okay. See, now it's giving me all the cultists that I don't need. Get another bear. Uh, let's see, grab the beer. Uh, let's see, bounty hunter. It would be really interesting to roll like a thief bounty hunter run, but I can see that just being like the most risky business. Okay. Fishbowl or tax evasion? Oof. These are tough. So tax evasion will make the magpie better. Fishbowl means I could just get free. Yeah, let's go tax evasion. This means I can also pick up uh, thieves. Beastmaster. Okay. B. Okay, grab a wine. Okay, we got something. Tax evasion make th makes thieves stop generating money when killed. Oh, okay, that's tragic. Keep getting some Matryoshka dolls. They actually seem like they've they've got some poten some potential here. Mostly though, I think I just want animals. Go yellow pepper. Just for a little bit of extra money here. Another bear? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Skip these. We've got some synergies going. But they're not great. Okay, monkey, no. Flower, yes. And what we need is the, uh... We need the beehive. Okay, go for the crow, no. Archaeologist? <sighs> no. 
I love him. But I don't actually have an archaeologist on this round. Go lucky capsule. Okay, pay rent. We're staying on top of it, but we're not staying that far. Sun. Yes. Let's go for this. We don't get a whole lot of lockboxes, but it's worth it. Okay, banana peel, crow, no. Maybe use some cats up in here. Oh, well, there's another bear. More bears. We're not getting, like, buckets for honey, though. Adds a common item. I'd like to go for the chemical seven, but random items are amazing. Could be amazing. Could be completely useless to me. I don't know. Okay, goose. Hex of Destruction, 30% chance to destroy an adjacent symbol. That's interesting and very risky. Grab a safe. It'll pop itself open. Another item capsule. I'm appreciating these options. Admittedly, that one's not that amazing, but still. Honey! Ooh. Sun and moon affect non-adjacent symbols as well. Yes! Isn't that actually obscene? I think so. Okay, I think that helps a lot. Now we just need another sun for times 25. Oh gosh. Okay, so maybe we do this again, but with only flowers. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing great. More flour? More flour. What we really need, though, is beehive. Uh, I'm gonna skip. More bears would be nice, but it seems like flowers are by and far the way to go. Okay, skip those. And get rolling. All right, we're we're doing fine. Oh, there's a martini. I'm gonna just grab the mining pick, get rid of that singular ore, if I can. Well, we're doing shockingly well, but this should surprise no one. Okay, I wonder if... Is there, like, a fast mode on this? Doesn't look like it. Because, yeah, I don't... I don't need to see everything jiggling constantly. It's one weird-looking game. It's a weird game, but it's super good. Let's see, banana... Nah, none of these. Yeah, take any other flower doublers. Haven't seen any go by, but yeah, absolutely. Cheat engine speed hacks? I feel like that could mess it up, though. I only do speed hacks if I know it's going to be stable or if I can save. Uh, you know what? Let's grab the hustling capsule. Might as well. It's free income. It's not much, but it's nice all the same. Any 
Yeah, I don't think I want anything to do with seeds. Seeds do have a chance of growing into flowers, but if they don't grow into a flower, I'm... It's gonna be annoying. Let's go for the chemical seven. Might as well start stacking up on those. The buffing capsule would be nice for a single money boost, but I don't think we need it. Okay. Well, so far so good. Yeah, we're way ahead on rent. Diver destroys adjacent turtles, crabs, goldfish. Oh. So this guy is effectively the uh the archaeologist, but like a thousand times better. Does need upgrade options like things in the apartment to give little bonuses. I don't know about that. Maybe some variety would be kind of nice. But I feel like a meta progression system could make this too easy. I'm feeling just going for the treasure chest. The diver would be interesting, but we don't have any of those. But knowing that he exists is huge. Let's go birdhouse. The yeah, diver also eats the pearls. I guess the that is the one issue with him. Yeah, this is not a demo. Uh, this game is just in early access, so it's not done yet. Personally, I would love to see them take this just like all the way. Like, uh, do what they did with Demon Crawl. I would also like maybe if they, uh, buffed up the visuals a little bit. Namely, the background. The fact that it is just this horrid, flat, Wanderbot orange is like... I, I, I rep my colors. I appreciate that it's there. But it's becoming hard to look at. And so... I, I would, to some degree, I'd almost love it if they uh, they retooled a lot of the visuals. And no plans for backgrounds, by the way. Because, yeah, I just... It, it's hurting. Just a smidge. Boy, howdy, those flowers are getting strong. Adjacent... Flowers have a chance of giving more money. Sure. Oh, I got the swear jar. Swear jar is not at all useful for me. Okay, golem. Ah. Okay, pay swear jar. No. I don't even know if we have money inside the swear jar. Tomb is interesting. Shrine. Oh. I guess not that helpful. But we can take a look at some of these. Mrs. Fruit destroys adjacent fruit and permanently gives... Okay, Mrs. Fruit is insane. What else do we have that I haven't seen go by? I'd swear Mrs. Fruit is probably one of the only cards I have not seen so far. Oh, this guy. Chef. Chef just gives adjacency bonus. Really, it's just Mrs. Fruit just eats shit. All right. I guess let's go Lucky Cat. Not that helpful, but we have at least like one, maybe two cats. Dude, don't need a bear. I'm really hoping we get the beehive at some point. Just make the background into a picture that shows how close to the rent goal you are, like a pile of gold. Yeah. Something. 
I just... I... What is going to get me to stop playing this game is purely the fact that it is hard on the eyes. Uh, let's see. If we get Mrs. Fruit, we'll start just gathering fruit like crazy. Not right now. Does the frying pan do? Frying pan uh, destroys eggs if next to other eggs or cheese. Uh, which makes omelets. I did a omelet based run kind of at the beginning of the night that actually works really well. Okay, safe. Yeah. I mean, we're doing okay monetarily. We're probably not going to. We're not scaling that fast. But that's fine. Anyway, th this will be the uh, the last run of the night. As much as I like this, I've got a lot of other roguelikes to play, and I think I'd rather, you know, just say, eh, good enough, and come back when the game is, like, fully complete. Oh, wow. We're way ahead. Uh, let's see. Farmer. Fruits give more. Yeah. The white pepper, just because. I wonder if you can cap out on items. Damn. That's going real good. Okay, can't cap out on items. That's for the best. I'm actually going to have to turn on a brighter light in this room just to... Nope, that did not help. Oof. More rain? Hell yeah. Still no beehive, though. Or Mrs. Fruit. We're just going to go through this entire run without the, the really clutch items. It is what it is. Is there something that destroys bears? Like a hunter? The beehive is rare. You need some rarity up items. I got the lucky cat. And I've been rolling lucky capsules, but they haven't been that forthcoming. Mainly, I just don't want to spam my deck full of stuff that I don't need. Personally, prefer to look at an orange screen than a blue screen. I maybe it's just I all I gotta say is my eyes are very uncomfortable at this point. So, like personal preference aside, at the very least, an accessibility option with a color slider would make such a major difference. Okay, pay rent. Continue playing. God, uh, give treasure chest. Uh, let's go with this. Destroy lunchbox. Skip. Skip. Beer. I was really hoping it would actually give me a choice. I was kind of hoping I could just get a shit ton of honey, but alas... Okay, chef. Adjacent everything 
on this list gives more money. The problem is we don't really have any of those. I don't think so. How absolutely... Oh, I should have gone for the flower. How absolutely baller are these Matryoshka dolls at this point? Or, oh, they destroyed themselves. Oh, no, they didn't. There they are. Oh, they're just capped out at four. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so the Matryoshkas aren't quite as good as I was hoping they would be. Okay. Yeah, four is not bad. No, you're right. I was just kind of hoping it would keep going. You know, it was just just be an infinite Matryoshka. But it's not, and that's fine. Okay, lucky capsule. Yeah. Because at this point, we're doing fairly well financially. There's another sun. Hell yeah. Now let's see if I can get both of them on a single round. Okay, not here though. Okay, item capsule. Yeah. We're just going to end up with all of the all of the common items. I guess that's okay. I have to pay rent. We're doing decent. Cripes. Grab the piggy bank just in case. Deck of lantern, which is not the most helpful. Alright, there's the suns. Ah, uh, sweet Bessie. Begin the jiggle. Ah, uh, okay. Let's get some flowers up in here. All right. Them sons. They're ridiculous. That's how people make millions per spin. Makes sense. If you get like seven, ten, twelve sons. Just, like, on your slots. Go figure. <sighs> I was really hoping the arrow would point to that flower for just mad money. I'll take it. But I'll be sad about it. Oh, here we go. This flower, whatever this flower is going to be worth, is going to be upsettingly large. Five hundred. Ah. <laughs> Praise the sun. Praise the jiggle. I almost feel like once he hit. Well, actually, I almost feel like this game should have a slave the spire shop, where you can spend money, but it's a risk because you can screw yourself over so you can either buy symbols remove symbols or even buy new items intentionally like that would actually be really cool okay lucky capsule lucky capsule there's an item like that pay to reroll ah I'm glad that it speeds up a little bit. Moon. Interesting. Adds uh, adjacent owls, bunnies, and wolves give three times more gold. That's interesting. I don't think I'm going to touch it. But I like the idea of it. Oh, 
Well. Don't need any of these. Okay, Moon gives three cheese when destroyed. Of course, Moon's made out of cheese, didn't you know? I gotta watch Wallace and Gromit some more. Okay, Silver, silver Arrow. We could go for another farmer, but I think the Silver Arrow might be better. Let's go for the Egg Carton. Yeah, the Moon would have been nice for the Global, but I don't... Uh, I don't actually have any of the things it benefits, to my knowledge. Yeah, flowers are common. Yes, which means I want to stay away from it. Yeah, Wallace and, Wallace and Gromit is great. I wish they made more. I I used to only watch it at a friend's house back when I lived in California. We'd go over, and there is something really charming about it. <sighs> Not a lot of flowers on this one, though. Like, they're still worth a lot, but... All this time, I thought the only arrow available was the bronze arrow. Nope, there's a gold arrow, even, but it's apparently very rare. Uh, let's see. Grab a safe. Might as well. Can't you destroy symbols by choice? I wish I could. You know, just very rarely, uh, just delete a bear. Flowers. Nah, I don't need more flowers. I kind of do. But if I jam things too full, then we get less suns. I'm gonna skip those. Yeah, do you want this to end or not? I mean, I'm in no immediate rush. They were making Chicken Run 2, but Mel Gibson's controversies changed the plot, so it's on hold. Huh. I... yeah. Can't say I'm surprised by that, to be honest. Uh, let's see. I suppose being able to delete symbols would kind of ruin an aspect of the game, since it kind of tries to punish you for not making smart decisions. I just feel like, uh... Flip side, it punishes you for trying to make smart decisions in the very beginning of the game. It's this kind of like uncomfortable middle ground where you're not quite uh, capable of standing on your own. And so you have to pick garbage. I don't know, I guess I'll grab the shrine. Oh, this flower is going to be worth a ton. How much? 500. Both of them. Damn. I guess it wouldn't be that necessary to be able to remove stuff. It's just... It's kind of annoying to just have these, like, weird... I'm not going to call them uh, albatrosses hanging around my neck, but it's like... I was originally going to consider maybe going Bear Strat or something, but I didn't need to because we never got the, the right items for that. Uh, but it, we ended up going down Hard Flower Strat for very good reasons. Uh, and so it's like, I didn't make bad decisions throughout this, but it's I'm still kind of pigeonholed in if only because there is literally no way to remove anything with the exception of chucking a bomb or a... Uh, one specific symbol that deletes nearby symbols, which is really risky. Uh, and, you know, I'd probably screw myself by setting that up. So I kind of want to stay away from it. Yeah, this one. Hex of Destruction. 30% chance to destroy an adjacent symbol. It's like, I mean, I guess, but... I'm sure something will crop up maybe eventually. Maybe. But I also don't care. Like, we're gonna lose. Eventually. Well, we're gonna lose. This run will end eventually, if only because I'm not scaling that fast. 
I'm still ridiculous, and it's going to take a while for it to catch up, but... I just want to see Miss Fruit and the Beehive go by. I think a leaderboard would be swag, though. It would be so meaningless, though. Like, there would just be the regular players and their normal scores, and then there would be the insane players that I... I don't know if you've ever seen, like, the Discord leaderboard for Nova Drift, if that still existed. But there was, like, a number of regular, totally normal people, and then there was, like, one goofy, ridiculous dude who had, like, a billion points or something like that, and proof. And it's just, like... Yeah, I'm scaling the rent right now. This is true. Alright, let's grab a uh, Mrs. Fruit. You may destroy this item and add seven dwarves. Oh god, fruits basket. Well, at least we get Mrs. Fruit to kind of delete some things. Personally, what I'd love to see is like a daily mode. Uh, kind of like uh, exactly how Ring of Pain does it, where the daily mode... Uh, you can do it as many times as you want, and you're scored twice. Once for the first time that you do the daily run, and then once for the... Uh, once for, like, whatever your maximum score is. And then, you know, you might have a global leaderboard, but you also have a... Uh... Ooh, this one's going to be worth a lot. 300. Okay, it's not that much. Probably look at what Mrs. Fruit eats again so I can start beefing her further. Uh, bartender? Nah. But yeah, having a global leaderboard and then a leaderboard for, like, your friends specifically. Because I think that would be a decent way of doing it. Okay. So she eats cherries, coconuts, and she will eat bananas, but I think I want to stay away from bananas. Mrs. Fruit seems unseemly. She looks like uh, she lost it a long time ago. She consumes the butt fruit. She will consume the any fruit. Doesn't matter if it's a butt pooch or uh, butt fruit or not. Okay. A coconut split. That's a good point. Hey, thank you, Jason M. Ball, for the 17 month resub. Thanks so much. But yeah, unless Mrs. Fruit starts eating peels, we want to stay away from bananas. Because I have no easy way of getting rid of bananas. Do I go for the rain? I think I'm going to skip rain. We've got a couple of drops, but. Namely, we want to just wait for suns. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lose anytime soon. When do we want to stop? Because I don't mind doing more. Stop at 20,000? Okay. I just go on, this won't be infinite. It's true, but I have a limited number of games that I want to play today. Uh, my main issue is that uh, I have five games that I want to play before getting over to the room four, because uh, I still want to get to Astron Arc. Holy shit, 5,000. Uh, let's go for the item capsule. Yeah, because I want to play Astron Arc, and I've got another game called... What's it called? Uh, Rogue... Uh, so I want to play Astronarch, I want to play Rogue Star Rescue, and a game called Mini Countries also came out today that I want to check out as well. 
Ah. Uh, and so if I spend the next hour or two trying to wait for this to kill me, it's like... Eh, I could. I just don't think it's going to change too much. I'm sure there's a couple of very rare items that we can get. But without, like, a speed mode to make this go faster... Because, like, at this point, I'm getting really tired of what I'm getting real tired of watching uh, Sons of Wiggle It Flowers. Purely from the perspective of, like, it's neat, but the only thing that's really useful is just spin and then watch value I gain. I could put this on pause, too. Yeah, but overnight, I don't want to do that. We'll stop at 20k. Because, straight up, like, as cool as this is, we'll do this again for sure in the future. And next time, we'll try and just go for pure bees, flowers, and skip the whole bear business. Because flowers are fairly common. Might still prove difficult, but I mean, if I can get the suns early, that'd be great. Otherwise, there's the potential for trying to just go, like, absolutely bananas with Mrs. Fruit. But that'd be difficult. I don't know of any ways to automatically generate sufficient fruit for her. Okay. Diver, martini, archaeologist, no. Oh. I want to go for the capsule machine, but Quiver is just a thousand times better. You think flower runs are the strongest? I haven't played this game enough to actually know. Oh, that Silvera was completely meaningless. That said, based on what I've seen, flower runs definitely seem to be, by and far, the most ridiculous. Because they actually do exponential multiplication, whereas everything else is just pure addition. And so you could potentially eke out a ton of value from an archaeologist, for example. I'm going to get another rabbit fluff. I just, I really want to see a beehive before I'm done. Yeah, there's other stuff that multiplies. True. I just haven't seen as many. Apparently there's still like a looking glass, magnifying glass item that we can potentially get that's even more busted. But I figure, I mean, one way or another, this is early access. I can't even, I can't even tell what this is going to be like when it's done done. I see a screen full of cultists. Well, we can do the math on that one. Uh, you can fit 20 cultists on screen at once. 20 times 20? They do 400. They would get you about 400 per roll. Maybe a little bit more. Looking Glass would make all of her doublers affect every single flower instead of just adjacent ones. Oh, yeah, that would be... That'd be busted. Hey, we hit 20k. Yeah, I'd like to potentially go for the Looking Glass, but I just time. And also, like, we're ridiculous. This run will not go forever, but it will go for a very, very long time. That's a very rare item. Yeah. I don't... I don't necessarily have, like, an hour to look for just that. This is great, though. I really like this. But we will absolutely come back to it at a later date. Oh, I can just continue it. All right, cool. So if I want to continue this run at a later date, I absolutely will. But for now, I want to go play other things. Go till one million. God, no. That would take hours. And I've already sunk two hours into a game that I was supposed to play for maybe 40 minutes today. Oh, well.